A very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice to be here once more. It's a nice time. Anybody here from Trinidad? No. Nobody from Trinidad? No. But I can't hold this conversation then. <laughs> I bring greetings from the land of stupid. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Trinidad, three months ago, bring down camera, speeding. You pass through a zone, and whew, they take a picture and they charge you. Ticket could come home by you because they have your number and they go email it and all kind of things. They bring down camera. What is this? A man with a fixed skin. Three days after they put it in working condition, they don't only bring two. And you know the amount of car and the amount of road. Two days after they put it in working condition, the people who say it have too much speeding and the road ain't good, and people go dead, and agree and congratulate the government, ask for the speed limit to raise. <laughs> no, they say that they could, they, they could ride on the right hand side and if you're in that lane, they go speed. They want the old speed limit to raise. The reason they give is that people taking too long to reach where they're going, therefore, they have a bigger chance of them deading. <laughs> All you bring in. But we learn in Trinidad that the people who want the correct thing is also the people that want the wrong thing. You, you understand what I'm saying? The buyer asks me to Trinidad, all you have an election coming. But only Trinidadians will be able to handle the results of the election of you. I'm going to tell you why. In Trinidad, we don't vote because we want nothing change. We just vote to change who in power <laughs> and put in anything. And after five years, we fed up of who we didn't take out and put it back in the same day better than what we put in. <laughs> so that it make no difference who they vote. But thing that's organized and changed from the top. But they don't go worry, Trinidad, yeah? Not so them don't vote, them don't listen to nobody. Them don't vote all how. The partner going up, the gear vote, the partner going up, and they're like, keep their gear, you know, they're like the shape of your head. <laughs> all in the real world, the whole country, the people that run the business with or without government, full small government that run the thing. So if, like Trinidad, they just get into fantasy and things, and they put anybody, it could go haywire. Four years up here could come like Haiti. Because half of the people were working and keeping the country afloat. Is not of here. And one of them who is of here, who going up say, don't want who not of here, here. <laughs> so, but they don't worry Trinidadian because them just get anything for government and survive. So Trinidadian, hear what? Stay. Watch how they just take pressure and come. Because all you will be in charge of this. Who will that make no difference? Who in charge? A normal Trinidadian, they say who will. They say what's the effect, you continue to effect it. You know what I'm saying? So Trinidadian, observe. These first world people were frightened and all kinds of things. And Trinidadian, they were worried, 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 they were worried. Anyway, I wanted to make that point, because that's very important. 
Now, up here, racism is a clear thing. I don't know why. In half gray areas, men are black and half white. But the clear way is if it is that you're wrong, if it is half that you're wrong, you know, you're not know, in Trinidad, however. Racism is funny. The last statistic says. 25% of all land in Trinidad is owned by African and Indian. The other 75 is owned by these invisible people who didn't own the thing before we reach. <laughs> who sent for me to work for them so they go get rich. You know, remember them? Christopher and boys? Right. Now, the problem is this. The problem is this. All the successive government that either support the dark one from that continent or the one, the straight nose dark one from the next continent, and be fighting one another tooth and nail. But the government and them not solving the problem because here the racism is like that. I make 10 days in the licensing office. I carry water, I carry crates. <laughs> and the fourth day of I see how they carry hot tea. I have seen no other people but African and Indian in the United States. But when I come out on the road, I only see the other people. The Caucasoids. All of them drive in. Where them just go for their license? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I spent three weeks in the passport office. Only the dark ones, the long nose one and the black nose one. Only them in the passport office. For three weeks, I'm going every day. And they only say, we have to go for that, we have to go for that, we have to go for that, we have to go for that. What about the airport? I see him join up them going their way. <laughs> passport man, Trinidad and Tobago. Where them just get their passport? It's a strange thing. Well, come on, you're laughing. We go in the mall, the line law, when we go price man. Flat nose and wrong nose. <laughs> but when they picture the of a truck passing and they picture the areas. They go serious. Not lining up with me and not seeing them. That is the problem. The problem is them still in charge of all these areas. Until the government, I stand up next to our office and you get a license. Get that right. Two years ago, they sent me for what they call it, machine press boat paper. <laughs> And all of we line up up and down the field. Because the line long and people had to go with the camp. Then you see the old one again. You know, three months ago, it have a new gold paper. They tell me that when we land with the old gold paper, they send me to get a new gold paper. On top of which I'll climb in there with a new gold paper. Not the newest one. The second to last few. <laughs> and when we go on, we can't bury him till we get a new one. <laughs> I asked how he signed him. <laughs> so that the thing is that they don't have all the means of doing the correct thing. They just have train nobody to do the correct thing. And they have a bag of people who find people walking about the place and they have to sit up the whole day and work. There's an in office at a sports in Tobago two Fridays ago. They closed the licensing office half day. So they could go sports. <laughs> you understand me? Say that now. The wonder of the world. They did nine, eight or nine. Eight, eight. The mistake is eight. The normal trailer is nine. <laughs> Possibly ten if they had to be. People are still thieving. Let me explain to you how clear that thief does. If you thief, and you get big, 
You are some big boy. I'm proud of you. You make me an honorary citizen and some other kind of things that you can get. Independence, you can get a war. If, however, they catch you, all of us sudden, everybody learned a different long time. So that's a kind of weird thing because knock you off. I put roll over the line by stop sign by a traffic light and police charge me for roll say. Roll says 250. Roll over is five more. But the things we learn by living that way, you will see it. Met only up here, go understand. They could do what they want with the politics, and we do what they want. Long by way, only with the they have that. The bribe a police to take a bribe. And next day, you see the man bribe him. And they hold the man. But the police are supposed to be getting money and give back. They can get the money, promise the money, and didn't get it. The police is the bribe the man. A police say he was at an accident. Good. And. He alone, he sent for the next police. The next police, so we have nobody to come. And when he go on in the station, they say he can't prove he was big. And the man who is the lover win the case. So no police going on accident and taking selfie. <laughs> you see how we use any technology? Any police stand up by the accident and he pull here. The accident behind him, and he picked up here. And he can't say he wasn't there. <laughs> you know and we had breathalyzer in the last two months. A Vajan tell a police a police to stop a drunk man, but they knew he was a Vajan. When you tell him to do that, he came up off. He came up off. The police called one of the tight police, but then he blew in it and he charged the man. <laughs> The whole man drunk, tell him, hey, try it, blow in this bottle here. He said he was just eating a salad. And it then go it then go register. They asked him what salad he was, he see a sting in it too. This is how we go charge you if you didn't sing in it. You see, you had to start from scratch. <laughs> so, you, you, you see the problem? Anyway, we go talk. It's not more thing to talk, you know. I had to tell all of well, you know, I, I trick water hole already. And I just want to say this. When by the doctor, she tell me, hey, come by me every week, you know. I say, because you know, at your age, people are dead. Say sometimes nothing wrong with you. And you just go home and next day you're dead. And when we ask you what happened, they just say you take in. <laughs> so we ain't no easy medicine for take in yet. <laughs> so come by me every day and we go make sure you're well. So last week I went. He said, Oh, you're going? I said, I cool, man, I cool. I said, but doctor, I have work I wanted to do on me to make sure that I go correct. Say what happened? I say, well, doctor, here what happened? I want you to lower my sex drive. He say what? I say my sex drive. He say, but you is nearly a thousand years old. <laughs> what do you want with your sex drive lower? I say, well, doctor, you see all my sex in my head. <laughs> if you could put some in my waist. You know, uh, Think you cry all you laughing? You know? <laughs> anyway, let me let me let me start some kind of so now. Hey, band, come on, you bring bring all your things. Let me start, let me start some kind of I know who coming first. I go find out when they come. All you come fast, you know, because the people waiting. They hold they hold a man last week Thursday. A man with one eye named Steve, and they're trying to find out with the other eye name. <laughs> <laughs> 